the bottom of the deck you've got the five of swords you're dealing with a, a lot of difficult people around you this could even be a legal case that you're dealing with because the swords always implies legalities uh it looks like you are rising above that circumstance there so this woman has been elevated these people stirred up a whole lot of issues there uh but it looks like she's now coming into her own and showing them what she's made of so it looks like you know whatever that legal circumstance is where they all um were at you or against you it looks like uh something has uh changed and it's given you a lot more power and you're rising above it uh you know and they're quite shocked about the whole situation so there is some victory in there uh whatever that uh, cir circumstance was uh whatever it's a very nasty thing because the uh, five of swords is always about vindictive behavior uh you know nasty messages nasty comments people um stabbing you in the back but it looks like you're rising above that particular circumstance and you're showing people your power as well so what's going on with you you're starting brand new it looks like uh you know starting from the bottom with that full card uh, there's been a lot of financial loss for you uh, and maybe you've even had to ask people for financial assistance uh, you know and maybe there's also been maybe a physical injury or you could have had gone through an illness as well but it's left you very very poverty stricken really very very broke there's been somebody around you that's been quite um, um, supportive you've got this dog here uh, you know and he's giving this man company you know this man used to be a, a high priest so it, it's almost like you had a, a great fall. There was something that really, you know, major happened that caused a, a, a lot of drama, but it caused a lot of loss in your life. And it looks like you've needed some kind of financial assistance. It could have even been that you just needed assistance in general, just help and support. And maybe you were even told to leave your house. So with the Seven of Pentacles, you can see this man's chasing this woman and a child out. So you may have lost your home, may have been told to leave. And this has left you, uh, you know, financially restricted and left you in a state of poverty. So there's some kind of circumstance you had to walk away from uh, because you were, you know, thrown out from it, really. You could have, uh, you know, had to leave a relationship for some reason, but you ended up leaving your stability and walking away from it and really just walking away with the clothes on your back. So it seems like it was something really dramatic and it caused a lot of loss. Uh, you know, you've reached rock bottom with that particular card. You've got the Six of Pentacles over here, so you have been asking for some kind of financial assistance. Uh, somebody has been helping you out. Maybe you've been uh, asking for some, some kind of financial support because uh, you've got that Six of Pentacles, some, you know, this person asking for coins. So it looks like you have reached a crisis of sorts here with this, you know, financial crisis. You've got the Ten of Pentacles over here, so you could have uh, ended up, you know, it, this could have been after a divorce or a separation uh, with a bit of uh, Ten of Pentacles, uh, you know, uh, it, it's the end of that difficult financial cycle. Uh, but also, you know, uh, it's the ending of the old financial situation that you were in. You could have been in a situation where you had joint finances. Maybe the person that you were, may have been partnered with uh, was very, very meager in how much they gave you. So they control the finances completely. You can see this child only getting a few coins. And, you know, that particular circumstance is over. Maybe you were financially dependent on this particular person person you've had to leave that circumstance over there and it's left you really financially uh you know a big financial deficit in your life so uh you know going through a lot of financial problems over here uh but that cycle seems to be over now you could uh be you know uh there could be some legal um circumstance coming in for you over here that you're dealing with so there could be legalities and with this 10 of coins usually it promises some kind of payout some kind of settlement coming in um you know and with that five of swords, I said, you know, this woman is getting, becoming victorious. So this particular financial circumstance that you're going through might be, uh, involve some legalities and you might actually end up getting a settlement, some money coming in with it. Now you've got the Knight of Pentacles over here, so you're looking for a new job. Uh, maybe, um, you know, you can see this man um, is riding away. Maybe, you know, uh, you've had to leave an old job or you want to leave an old job and you want to walk away from it, uh, it is not something, it's almost like you're leaving a stable situation and moving forward. So maybe even this financial loss has come because uh, you've had to leave uh, an old job as well. So this could be, uh, you know, the end uh, due to a divorce, uh, but, you know, something's happening financially and you are looking for new work over here. Maybe you haven't been successful in actually, uh, you know, getting a new job, but you are going out there and seeking new employment. Now, going into the future, you've got the world card over here. So this is the end of that particular cycle. Uh, the lessons have been learned. Uh, you know, 
the world card is ruled by Saturn, and it shows uh, you know the end of a difficult financial uh, circumstance. Like I said, Saturn is um, you know the teacher of the zodiac, but it's also a restrictor of finances, and it looks like you know with the world card, the ending of those particular circumstances. So uh, where you've had financial restriction, that particular cycle is now over. You can see even with that Ten of Pentacles, it's the end of that difficult financial situation. It's left you really restricted, really uh, deficient, but it looks like that cycle has not come to an end and something brand new will begin. You've got the Nine of Swords over here, so you are dealing with a lot of anxiety, a lot of problems, a lot of pressures from a lot of people as well. It looks like you know, all you want is a bit of a rest, a little bit of a break. There's a lot of people um, expecting a lot out of you. They're causing a lot of stress and they're causing a lot of anxiety for you. So you're feeling very, very anxious. Maybe you're not even sleeping at night. You've got the King of Cups over here, so um, you know this is the end of that particular difficult situation or difficult person you were dealing with. So this could be, um, you know... Um, this could be a water sign, this could be um, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that you're dealing with, and it seems like that particular circumstance is over. It's the end of that relationship with that particular person. So something's happened, that relationship's ended, there's a lot of drama, you're a bit confused about what to do, but it's the end of that particular cycle with this King of Cups here. Now you've got the Four of Cups over here, so you are looking to you know get together with some friends, maybe discuss things, just, you know... Uh, you. It looks like, you know, you've been feeling very, very lonely. The fool looks pretty lonely here. Um, and it looks like, you know, you just want some support, somebody to just listen to you. You just want to speak your truth, really, with this Four of Cups. Get things off your chest, really. So going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Eight of Swords over here, the Devil card, and the High Priestess. The Eight of Swords uh, here is about, uh, you know, unforeseen... Um, attack really in this particular circumstance you can see i mean this particular card you can see there's a lot of swords flying around so there might be a lot of issues that you're dealing with this could be legal issues that you're dealing with as well and something comes up unexpectedly because it seems to be raining down from the sky there so there could be some news that you're getting about a legal situation it may not be news that you want to hear uh, it might be uh, you know something that you need to be defensive of get some advice to actually deal with that particular circumstances uh, you know it seems a bit overwhelming whatever this is uh, and it is coming in pretty fast as well um, you know like like I said it could be legal news that is coming in the swords are coming in through the air so you know just be careful uh, you know make sure that you're getting all your uh, whatever, emails or letters or mail, uh, there is some kind of news coming in. It might be a bit distressing uh, with this Eight of Swords. Uh, the Eight of Swords usually is about being restricted. But in this particular car, uh, deck, it's about, you know, almost like a full-blown attack coming in from somebody you don't know. So there's some kind of, uh, maybe this person that you have separated with uh, has, you know, is, is sought legal... Uh, um, ways or means to deal with whatever went on and you know they're sending you messages or uh, there's something that comes in for you some kind of news that comes in for you um, that causes a, a lot of distress. You feel like you're being attacked. And it is this particular person because you've got the devil card uh, next to this eight, which is you know somebody that's controlling it. And they're using very, very um, unhealthy means of controlling. So, you know, doing things behind your back, doing things in the dark, uh, trying to manipulate the situation. Uh, so they're doing things that, you know, th that things are going on behind the scenes and they could be stirring up some legal uh, battle with you. So just uh, be aware of that. They're trying to restrict you in order to control you. Uh, and, uh, you know, they're trying to uh, cause a lot of chaos in your life as well. Now, you've got the High Priestess card that's following in. You need to ask for divine guidance and assistance over here with this High Priestess. You also need to trust your intuition with it as well. Um, so something coming in over there, um, you know, and also make sure that you're keeping all your secrets to yourself. Don't go around telling people what you're about to do and what your plans are uh, with this particular card. So there's some kind of drama that's happening over here and it's caused by this person that's pretty controlling this devil card coming in over here. Uh, like I said, they're, start, they're, they're sneaking around doing things behind your back. Just be careful and uh, make sure that, you know, you are... Um, you might have to do some research as well with the high priestess on how to deal with this. And this, you know, might be that you also need to ask for some guidance or some help. It could be, you know, praying about it, but it could also act asking for some really practical advice from somebody who can give you um, answers to your questions. 
So you are still still dealing with very uh, difficult people. That five of uh, swords over here. It looks there's some. It looks like there's something legal that's involved over there. Um, some a kind of news that comes in that's a bit upsetting. Uh, so just be uh, aware that that could well be the case. Now I'm just going to draw some cards from the oracle. Um, the Animal Tarot for the Oracle read. You've got the Four of Spring over here. It's a time to kick back, relax, and celebrate all that you have. Joy arises from success in your career, the completion of a project, a happy home life. Now, the Four of Spring shows, uh, you know, stability uh, in home. It could also show victory in whatever you're going through at this moment. It could even be that change of home. So it seems like you've left an old home or left an old relationship and you're going to be starting fresh again. But it's also going to be some some place that you go that's going to give you that stability at least for a while uh, before you need to move on. You've got the release card over here. So this is the death card, leaving things behind. It's time to release the past and move on to something new. The ending is the first step to the way uh, to a happier future. So you've got that peacock feather. So, you know, the peacock feather has got a lot of eyes on it. You're seeing things from a very different angle, but you're also seeing a lot of things that, a lot of things are coming to light for you. So a lot of things, a lot of information is being revealed. Maybe this is what that Eight of Swords is showing. All the the dramas, all the, the swords are almost like tower moments that get revealed to you. So, you know, things are being revealed to you or whatever has been going on behind the scenes. This also says there's transformation coming over here and cutting out that past and moving on to that future. So it looks like, you know, if you move on, you will get more stability and you might even get a new home coming in for you there. And you've got that six of summer over here, which is the six of cups, the love and care of children. Uh, it could be very important to your life. Old memories uh, can be healed and possibly old childhood dreams are ready to be reviewed. Now, you might be ending in old circumstances, but you are still looking at the past a little bit with the Six of Summer, which is the Six of Cups. Now, you're doing it to move forward. So people always say, oh, don't, uh, you know, cut the past out and don't think about it. But it's not true. You sometimes have to look backwards to see the future. That's what I think. So when you're sitting and reviewing the past, it's not always a bad thing, provided you don't let it depress you and you don't let you let yourself get stuck in it. Uh, you know, if it brings your mood down, this is not something that you should be going after. But reviewing the past and repacking your memories again and re-looking at the situation gives you insight on how to deal with future events. It looks like you are moving forward there. You could be caring for children there. <coughs> And you may have had to take your family and leave a circumstance because you can see this woman's taking her child and walking and you can see this duck is taking his ducklings and going forward. You're starting a brand new cycle over there. Um, and, you know, with the six of summer, there could be somebody in your family or somebody around you that you knew in the past that's going to help you out in that circumstance. The six of cups also brings in an offer. So there's an offer for stability coming in, an offer for, you know, with the six of cups, it's somebody offering you a really um, good cup full of flowers usually in the old tar you know in the traditional tarot rather and that could be the case here with the six of summer so maybe somebody's giving you a home or giving you that support that you need but you're definitely leaving that past cutting it behind moving on and becoming very enlightened there's a big transformation that's happened in your life and it looks like you know you are moving on to some kind of stability some kind of ce celebration and whatever you do now is going to be quite successful so although you have gone through a lot over here uh, there's been a lot of problems you've got a lot of ending cards so you've got that full card which is you know beginning after the end after the world comes the fool so you are ending that cycle over here uh, you know you're getting over things now so you'll start moving up so it's going to be a, and you've got that ten of pentacles over here so ending of difficult financial circumstances the ending of you know even maybe an old job that you used to be in something to do uh, with money all of those problems that you've been having uh, you're moving away from it even with this uh, knight of pentacles you can see riding away from somebody who's blocking your door uh, so it looks like you know you're changing the way you look at things and you are going to be releasing that old circumstance and moving forward even though it's causing you a lot of anxiety and stress it is the best way to go uh, and you know there's still going to be some problems that you encounter but you will be able to overcome it because you can see even though there were so many people against this woman she She's rising above it, and she's a force to be reckoned with. So stand up, and stand up with confidence, and you will be able to overcome whatever you're going through. But just make sure that you're keeping everything to yourself with that high priestess, and asking for divine guidance. That's always very, very important.
So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.